if you drive something older than the mid 90s, you know there's no such thing as actual drink holder. So today I'm gonna fabricate rat rod style door, window, drink holder. Keep watching. So the first step in the process is to grab some cups. So I grabbed one of the biggest ones they had at the gas station and then a uh, foam one, which is a little thicker. Usually I get about that size. Don't think I'm gonna make it fit a coffee cup. Don't need that very often. But I mean, anything smaller like a soda can and stuff should fit as long as these behemoths fit. So I was inspired by this vintage oil filter the other day and I'm gonna use that for the main surround, the main base of it. So opened it up. I have a whole video on how to open these up with just a pair of tin snips, super easy. But we end, we end up with a nice steel shell that actually fits a cup pretty close, but I think we gotta trim it down because it's not going down all the way and I'd rather it sit on the bottom versus wedge on the sides. So a little more thought, I actually don't want it to squeeze the sides because what it's gonna do is wedge down in there and when you go to pull out your drink, it's actually gonna try to pull, it's gonna suction with condensation and it's gonna try to pull the whole thing off the window. So I needed to sit on the bottom, I made a line. So it looks like I need to cut um, to have this actually touch the bottom right at this blue line, the very top in this blue line. So I'll cut out just a little bit of the blue line and I'll have this strap left over and we can use that actually for the window mount strap. So I just have to cut it, give me a perfect line all the way around and go from there. So now it's pretty self-explanatory. I have this fitting just exactly how I want in there. I just need to see where I'm gonna mount it, how high, and so I can make the little bracket, because in this little truck, there's absolutely no space. I actually have one right here. It's been modified for another one of my trucks, but it blocks the vent completely. And it's just, as you steer, it actually hits your knuckles. So, no good. So this one, I just need to measure I don't care if it actually hits the window, but I need to measure the distance between the window and out, which is, on this one is like dead on an inch. Gotta show you my oil filter rug. You gotta see that. Anyway. And normally I would just weld this, but I think I'm just gonna rivet it. I think the rivets, so no welding required. I think I'm just gonna put two rivets on there. And now I'm just going to bend this up. Um, I figured about a half inch down and about one inch out is it. And then down into the window and we'll just sand it up all smooth. I'll sand it up right now. I'm just actually using a, uh, like a Scotch-Brite because this is such thin metal. I don't actually want to chamfer the edge. I just want to break the little burr on it. So I got a one inch block right here. That's the bend I want. I'm about a half inch down. So that works out about perfect. And I want to try not to damage my stuff, my print very much. I mean, it's already an oil filter. I got enough to tuck in there this way. I do. bent a little bit of a curve on that so that matches that better and I was going to just rivet it but I just looked through my rivets and they're all like way too long for this material so they're actually going to protrude out the back a little too far um, I kind of try to grind them off but it's not going to work out perfect so I'm just going to I'm actually going to TIG weld it
There we go, all TIG welded up. I think this thin metal is strong enough at that short a distance. If I was gonna go a longer distance, I wanted it to be stronger. I could have taken this and just rolled over a quarter of an inch or even just folded this in half and hammered it and it would have been four times as strong. If you wanna know what filter this is, this is just a Ford, um, like a FL1A slash PH8A slash Pier 1, the most common Ford oil filter out there. And it measures, what was it measured across? About three and five eighths, which in metric is, what is that, 92 millimeters. Crazy metric. You guys that don't know your fractions. Come on, learn your fractions, guys. That's cup holder. Just what I wanted. I mean, that's way more weight than it'll ever hold. It's holding up just fine. Heck yeah. I'll just show you another one I made for this car. Um, actually you can't put anything besides like a soda can here or else it hits the stereo and everything pushes the buttons and so that's a little bit of a different style that I made years ago and that works out great just hold it over the side screw the passenger in their leg room go ahead get it get the sprinkler come on